So, you know, you're probably going to see a lot of these books that everyone has been posting on their BA book on hauls, but, you know, that's the thing with booktube is that everything is a bit repetitive when it comes to everyone going to the same event. Hi guys, welcome to another one of my videos. I'm so excited today to share with you my huge book haul over here. So this includes the Book Expo, Book Con, and Book Depository book haul that I had um, right before I went to BA. And over there's, there, oh there we go. There's my friend. Hi. Hi. Still in the background. He's another friend. <laughs> <laughs> So if you haven't seen already, I uploaded my BA and BookCon vlog um, just yesterday or when I'm going to upload this video, just, you know, before that. So do check it out if you want to see my life uh, and how I enjoyed BA and BookCon a lot. But let's start on our book haul with the BA books first. So in no particular order because I don't remember which book I got first, um, I'm going to start with Three Dark Crowns by Kendari Blake. So this is a published book already, but because I went to her signing, see this is signed, oh that's cute, she had a B in it. Yeah, and so that's why um, I got it again, but obviously I'm going to give my old copy away. And Three Dark Crowns is basically about three princesses, I guess. Yeah, well, three queens actually, each in their own uh, slot of land, they have their own powers, and they're battling for who gets the throne. And then so the next book that I got, it's which is also a published book already, is The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading by Alexandra Bracken. And this one is also signed because I went to her signing. Well, I don't know what this is about, but obviously this is a very good, uh, apparently, it's very good. Um, I believe it's middle grade and it's a fantasy story. Um, sounds interesting. Everyone's been saying that it's good. Um, I've got two crazy bitches behind me. Just <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna zoom Daddy. into your faces on the video. <laughs> Maybe I should do it like this. And then the next book that I have here is also another signed book, um, and this is actually um, the first arc that I got, which is When We Caught Fire by Anna Godverson. So I believe this is ah, historical fiction, and this is in a sense a retelling of the Great Fire um, that took place in Chicago, and this sounded really interesting to me, so I'm very happy to read it, and this book comes out um, in October 2018. And this is also signed right here. And then the next book I got, which is published by Harper Teen, and if it's not What If It's Us, then it's going to be The Light Between Worlds, and this book is by Laura E. Weymouth. So this is about two sisters, Evelyn and Philippa Hapwell, um, and they are swept into a beautiful kingdom called the Woodlands. Uh, and it seems like this is something that happened in post-World War II England, and from the, um, the back of the book it kind of says that um, there's a kind of comparison to Narnia, so another fantasy book, and this seems interesting. The next book I got is The Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell, and this is also an arc. And this is actually the sequel um, of The Last Magician series, in which I haven't read and never heard before, but it was the end of the day and it was there, so I decided to pick it up. Um, fantasy, obviously. Sounded interesting, and so I decided to grab this, and this is going to be published October 28th. The next book is the book that everyone has seen on the most popular booktubers' uh, book blogs, and that is The Priory of the Orange Tree. I camped out for this book on um, on the third day of BA and everyone else on um, day two, so that's why I got this here. And this is a massive book um, by Samantha Shannon, once again. And the world divided a queendom without an heir, an ancient enemy awakened, so obviously high fantasy and... This is going to be published March 2019, and I'm going to read it before then because this big fat book is sounding really interesting to me. The next book I got is another Bloomsbury book, which is Imprison the Sky by A.C. Goggin, and this is the sequel to... What is the, what is the first book called again? <laughs> <coughs> oh, right. The first book is called Rain the Earth, um, and this cover is actually looking gorgeous. <laughs> This book is looking gorgeous and elemente, so obviously fantasy it looks cool to me. I mean, look at that beautiful cover. Apparently, it's the first time that the cover was revealed in BA, so that's awesome. And next book I got from Bloomsbury is Dark Deep, which is what everyone else got as well. And this is by Ali Condi and Brendan Reeks. I believe I pronounced that right. And um, this is also um, what I heard from everyone else is that it's middle grade. It sounded interesting and stranger things, you know, so... 
I'm gonna give this a read and let's see how you think about it. The next arc I got is Miss Insta Princess by Katie Elizabeth and this is um, her debut novel. This is gonna be a romance novel. I love romance novels and this is gonna be my thing so I'm very excited to read this and here's the signature as well. Next book is the book that everyone's been wanting, everyone's been kind of crazy for. It's not Muse of Nightmares, but I did manage to get The Wicked King by Holly Black. Now, I haven't read The Cruel Prince, but it's on my Chiba list because it's it sounds like a very good book, but I did get my hands on the arc and I'm I guess I'm happy to get it. I mean, I don't desperately need it, but since my friend was desperately trying to get it, I just got it anyway because I was riding her wind and I could. And I have no idea what this is about, honestly. Next book I have here is an anthology and this is Unbroken, um, which is featuring 13 stories staring disabled teens. It's al it's always good to have um, diversity reads and I guess anthologies are um, an, always, an always fun read, I guess. And yeah, this is gonna be cool. So this is gonna be published September 2018. That's gonna be exciting. And the next book you've probably seen on some other booktubers um, channels which is Sisters of the Winter Wood. There are many types of love but there's nothing like a sister and mine is a golden swan. So definitely fantasy featuring animals and this book seems cool. It's by Rena Rossner and it's gonna be published um, September 2018 as well. So that's basically it for my BA haul. I got a total of 11 books and then moving on to book con. So these are mostly purchase books. Um, I got the complete series of The Whispers of the Fallen by J.D. Netto and I've been so excited to meet him. I'm so glad to be able to get his books finally into my hands. So we've got the first book, The Whispers of the Fallen. Um, Rebellion, The Gathering of Shadows, and I believe the novella, um, Descent. So this is another one of those Fallen Angels and Lucifer retellings, and I'm excited to read this because I love those kind of things. Uh, from the world of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, to everyone who's- oh, no, no, that's okay. Right then! I guess I don't know what this is in the end. And then I got three samples of Queen of Air and Darkness, because I'm gonna give um, two away to my friends, and Queen of Air and Darkness is gonna be published published the end of this year and it's the third book in the Dark Artifices series trilogy in the Shadowhunters Chronicles world. I haven't even started reading the... what is it again? The Infernal Devices. Yeah, so I better catch up on my stuff before I start reading this. Next up is a book that I already owned but I brought it to a signing which is Stealing Snow by Danielle Page and she got it signed in pink wonderfully and she gave me two Stealing Snow um, stickers which is super duper cute and I totally love it. So this is not a haul but it's just, I guess the autograph is a haul you can say. And then I got Shatter Me by Tara Moffey when I went to her signing and I got it signed as well because that's what a signing is for and I'm excited to read this. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Shatter Me is by now but I haven't read it so fight me. Then I got myself Lady Midnight that I actually got from my book depository haul but I didn't know that I was gonna go to so actually no, I knew I was gonna go to the- actually no. What was it again? Right, I did the online haul before I signed up for Cassie Clare signing, so yeah, I guess this is the one. And I'm collect- I've been collecting the spine art editions and that's why um, this is the one I settled for and I got this signed. Um, this one is the- this is not the personalized one, I got my other one personalized, which I'm gonna bring up in a second. So this Lady Midnight, which is hardcover, is the one signed because, um, I did this for my friend as her birthday present and she's gonna see it soon. I'm not gonna tell her about this video until I give it to her, which I don't know when, but I need to see her soon, definitely. And then there's- ooh! And then there's the random merchandise that I also got from BA and BookCon. Um, this includes a history of noble, notable shadow hunters um, in a deck of cards. I actually did buy the book, but I just wanted it anyway because why not? And I love shopping. So um, I also got this chart thingy, um, kind of answer thingy, uh, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiyami. And I also got a poster on it, which is right here. So this is the of another poster again, which is pretty cool. There was also some photo booths, and so I had a photo booth session at the King of Scars with my friends, and I also did a photo booth at Three Dark Crowns, which is these two, with the two different throne backgrounds, which, which is pretty nice. And I also went to the book explosion um, meet and greet, and so I got a sticker and a postcard from there. I actually did get postcards from Natasha, Sasha, and JD, but I seem to have lost it. I'm so sorry about that. And then I got a photo from the Peculiar Children's um, photo booth, and this is when I was meeting up with the author of um, Miss Insta Princess, and I think this is a discount card, or it's some sort of card, yeah. 
I'm not exactly sure what it is and I'm not gonna open it now. I actually got a sampler of spices. Um, it came with a pack of cinnamons in which I detached. It was like real cinnamon, so it's dried and that's cool. A pack of postcards, which is the book Floor Inside the Secret World of Plants, published by Smithsonian. So sampler, basically. Along with The Whispers of the Fallen, I also got two posters from J.D. Netto, and both of them are signed. And so that is it for my B.A. book on haul, um, at least so far I'm Noah. And then now we're gonna move on to my online haul! I got Noct or Nocte, um, by Courtney Colt. So this is about, um, Kala, and, um, basically, um, She's saving her twin bunner, she's doing everything for her, but she's also in love with another dude. So the plot totally sounded interesting. And I actually knew this book from Phantom Reign. She's a, f uh, she's a really amazing artist and she was making art for this book. And I was like, I need to give this a read because the dark plot just sounded really good. Next book I have here is uh, the book that everyone's probably read already, which is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And it's published to a movie and everyone knows by now that basically the girl Maddie allergic to the world maybe she's not maybe she is but when she meets the boy next door then her life changes next book we have here is Obsidia which is the third book in the Illuminate Files by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman the first two books were phenomenal it was an absolutely fun format and actually my name is in this okay so I found it and that's my name right here Joan Pang and I'm on the death list in this book so which is super super cool and the best thing about this is that it's a very shiny cover and you can see that? I can even see my face in it, kind of, I guess. It's like a rusty old mirror. And then on to part of my Shadowhunters haul, which is Tales um, from the Shadowhunter Academy, which is a whole bunch of short stories that surround Simon Lewis, um, um, who's basically going to be a Shadowhunter. And that's basically about it. That sums it up. I mean, most of you guys should know what it's about anyway, or not. Or And then over here, I have Shadowhunters Codex, which is basically Clary's copy of the guide to becoming a shadow hunter. And the next book we have here is basically what this floral cards are an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of the down world. And so it's basically um, the difference between this one and the cards is that this one comes with a description of each character. Then continuing on our haul is A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass. And yes, I collect both editions, the US and the UK, and so I got both. I actually finished reading this already. It's a really awesome book. Novella 3.1 in the series. Totally loved it. Way better than Aka War, honestly. Don't make out while we're on camera, you know? It's basically about Winter Solstice, um, featuring fairies and basically the whole inner circle. I don't think it was bad, but there were a lot of mixed feelings about this book, and that's what I heard at least. Next book is someone, some book that's been very popular in everyone's opinion, which is Frostblood by Ellie Blake. I've been dying to get this book since last year, but I just never had the time because I had too much to read and school just started pounding in. So it's basically about a character who's, oh wait, I'm not Frost Power, and therefore the reign of ice must end and this fantasy book was very um sounded very interesting including the following um books because they all had super awesome cover uh, covers and titles like fireblood nightblood so i'm very excited to read this as well and then we have the sequel to spindle fire which is a sleeping beauty retelling winter glass by alexa hillier um i really loved the first book it was a very good retelling and here is continuing on the second book and i'm very excited to read it this is basically about two sisters um, they got woven into a Sleeping Beauty kind of situation. One has to find the other who's sleeping in a slumber party. So, yeah, you get the idea. It's Sleeping Beauty. The next one we have is The Bane Chronicles, uh, which is, you know, another Shadowhunters book. And it's basically about Magnus. This is life. Yeah, basically that's it. And the last three books is basically The Clockwork, uh, Angel, Prince, and Princess, which is Infernal Devices. I got this as a box set because I wanted to spine yards because they're obviously gorgeous. People say this is better than Mortal Instruments, but let's see how we think about it. So this is it for my BA Vacan and basically May book haul. And thank you all guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video in which I'll probably film in like five months time.